welcome. I am Lucian Darkside, and this is my first voiced video on my channel. Apart from this intro and bonus at the end, I made the rest of the video a while ago and I'm new and still learning to use a microphone, so please do bear with me until I improve with more practice. I also now work with and make videos for Starfield Wiki, from the founders of the unofficial Elder Scroll pages, UESP.net. Do check them out for more information. Today we shall look at the locations of all the snow globes and also the respective books and methods to unlock their quests. There are a few missable snow globes, some in unmarked locations, some duplicates, few that are locked behind quests and some that require you to progress very far into the game. I shall notify you as we speak of those globes. Spoilers are kept to a minimum and please do use the labels, enable subtitles if something does not make sense and the timestamps which I have placed for your convenience. The globes that are easier to get, that doesn't require much progress or are not locked behind a quest, are placed near the beginning of the video, getting progressively harder with each globe in order. So without further ado, here is the video that I had recorded a few weeks ago. Our first quest to collect the New York Snow Globe is triggered by reading the book Our Lost Heritage in the Mast Building on Planet Jemison within the Alpha Centauri star system. You will have access to this area very early in the game. Head on over to the Mast District and take the elevator in the main building to the Central Command Office of the President. Turn right once you are here and an immediate left after you reach the reception to enter the room with the book Our Lost Heritage on the table which you will have to steal to unlock the quest to go to the New York landmark. From the Alpha Centauri, visit the Soul Star System and find the landmark on Earth. Upon landing, follow the quest marker or as shown on the screen to find the New York Snow Globe unscathed at the foot of the Empire State Building. Our second quest to collect the Apollo Snow Globe is initiated by reading Sir Livingstone's second journal within the Constellation Lodge on Planet Jameson with an Alpha Centauri star system. It is found in the room upstairs, as shown on the screen, on your left as you enter the corridor. Head on over to Luna, the Earth's moon in the Sol star system. Upon landing, you will find the snow globe on top of the Apollo lunar module. Our third quest to collect the Hong Kong snow globe is initiated by reading Maurice Leon's journal in New Homestead on Saturn's moon Titan in the Sol system. Upon landing, take the path as shown on the screen. You will have to go straight and then downstairs to enter the door and reach the area with the museum, where the book will be located in a nearby metal shelf near the stairs. From Titan, head on over to Earth in the same star system to land on the Hong Kong landmark. Once you land, follow the quest marker or as shown on the screen to find your Hong Kong snow globe next to the dilapidated International Commerce Center building. Our fourth snow globe does not have a quest marker, nor is it initiated by reading a book. We will have to visit this unmarked location to locate our next snow globe. The face on Mars is based on a real-life paradilia where a humanoid face landscape was photographed on the surface of Mars. The face is located to the east of Sidonia on Mars within the Sol system. You can vaguely see the sideways face and have to use your evolutionarily built-in paradigm instincts to notice the eyes. Place the marker somewhere near the right eye, in the trough of the terrain plane. The general location as to where we have to go is shown on the screen, just outside Sidonia. An easier way for some can be to head over to that fracking station in the distance first. Once there, head to the top of the hill in the direction that the long structure is facing away from the fracking station. Once at the top, you'll be able to see Sidonia in the distance behind you. You'll have to go downhill from here into the right eye of the face. There are no quests or any land markers, so you'll have to use visual cues and follow the path on the screen. Near some rocks, you'll find your Sidonia snow globe.
Our fifth quest to collect the Los Angeles snow globe is triggered by stealing the book Hope Family Tree in Hopetown, on planet Polvo within the Valo star system. Once you have landed, head on over to the main Hope Tech building. Once inside, make your way to Ron Hope's office at the top. Follow the path up the stairs until you reach his office, as shown on the screen. On his desk, you will find the book Hope Family Tree, which will start our quest. Head back to Earth, to the new Los Angeles landmark. Upon landing, follow the path on the screen to find the Los Angeles snow globe at the foot of the US Bank Tower. Our sixth and the seventh quest can be initiated at the same time. The respective books for the London Snow Globe and the Cairo Snow Globe are bought in Aquila City's Sinclair's Bookshop on planet Aquila within the Cheyenne Star System. Once you have landed, traverse straight through the city and bear slightly left from the central building, The Rock. Follow the path shown on the screen and you will arrive at Sinclair's Bookshop where you will have to purchase the books Oliver Twist and the ancient civilization of Egypt to unlock the respective quests for the globes. Travel back to Earth to land on the Cairo landmark. Follow the quest marker to find the Cairo snow globe at the base of a pyramid. Open the world map and now travel to the London landmark. Once you have landed, you will find the London snow globe on top of some rocks next to the Shard building. Hauntingly beautiful here, it's even more majestic in person. Our eighth quest for the St. Louis snow globe can be triggered by stealing the book The Price of Destiny in Benjamin Bayou's penthouse in Neon City on planet Voli Alpha within the Voli star system. Once in the city, head on over to the Astral Lounge. We will be stealing the penthouse keys from Benjamin Bayou himself. Make sure you have the perk unlocked that allows pickpocketing. Once inside the Astral Lounge, take the VIP elevator to your left. Take consecutive left turns until you reach Booth 4. This is one of the locations where you can find Benjamin Bayou. I have already pickpocketed him elsewhere, but you will find his penthouse keys on him. Safely pickpocket and leave the Astral Lounge. Upon exiting, take an immediate left to find the elevator that will take you to his penthouse. Trespass up the stairs and straight into the room on the right, where you will find on his desk the book The Price of Destiny. Fast travel back to Earth and into the new St. Louis landmark. Make your way to the bottom of the center of the gateway arc to find your St. Louis snow globe. Our ninth objective is to find the Shanghai snow globe, which can be initiated by reading the book Essentials of Modern Macroeconomics within the ECS constant spaceship in the orbit of Purima 2 planet within the Purima star system. This is a missable snow globe as per the current version of the game. Keep in mind there is a quest attached to the ship without any spoilers. It is highly advisable to collect the book as soon as you enter. When inside, make your way up the stairs and straight through until you find a classroom on your right, where you will find underneath the whiteboard the book Essentials of Modern Macroeconomics. Make your way back to Earth and land on the Shanghai landmark. Upon landing, you'll find the Shanghai snow globe on a small debris hill at the base of the Shanghai Tower. Our tenth mission to find the Osaka snow globe can be started by reading The Diary of Kiyosuke Nagata in Delgado's room aboard the Key, the main base of the Crimson Fleet pirates in the Crick star system. Access to the ship will depend on your choices in the UC Sistef and the Crimson Fleet questline. To start off, either get caught performing illegal activities in UC space or join UC Vanguard to get the mission deep cover from Commander Tuala in New Atlantis when helping out Sergeant Yumi at the UC security office. 
As you follow the path on the screen that I'm taking, you will have to head deep inside the key and upstairs into Delgado's room to find the diary of Kiyosuke Nagata next to the bed. Travel back to Earth to visit the Osaka landmark. Upon landing, follow the quest marker to locate your Osaka snow globe next to the Abeno Harukasu building. The eleventh quest to find the Dubai snow globe is initiated by reading the book Race to the Heavens inside the Siren of the Star ship in the orbit of Arani Fourth within the Arani star system. As per the current version of the game, it is both missable and quest locked. You will have to progress the UC Sistev Crimson Fleet questline until you unlock the mission Breaking the Bank, which will make you board the ship. Once inside the ship, follow the path shown on the screen to reach deeper into the ship. Go through the Star View Ballroom and upstairs into the guest suites. Once you go up the stairs again, on your left you will find the room with the book Race to the Heavens on the table. Make your way back to Earth and land on the Dubai landmark. Upon landing, you'll find the ruins of Burj Khalifa, where on its foot rests your Dubai snow globe. The next seven snow globes all require you to have progressed the main story quite far into the game. During the quest unearthed, you will have to go to the NASA launch tower in Cape Canaveral, Florida, on Earth. Six out of the seven snow globes can be found outside and inside the launch tower. They will be unmarked and will not have any quest markers for them, nor do they require reading any books. You will unlock the mission for the last snow globe at the museum within the NASA launch facility, for which we will go to Mars later for the final snow globe. But before that, on our path, our next snow globe, the twelfth snow globe, is the unmarked NASA snow globe, which also has two other duplicates one of which can be found right next to it. Follow the path on the screen or any other many paths that you can find to reach just outside the elevator with the unearth quest marker that you're supposed to take to go inside the facility to progress the mission. We will not go in just yet, but I will use this elevator as a reference point marker for your convenience. From the elevator, head straight across the gap to the door on the other side of the same floor level and enter the room for two of your unmarked NASA snow globes. You will find your 12th snow globe on the table. Your 13th snow globe will be straight ahead in the other room inside a locker. They are both the same snow globes and are duplicates. For your 14th snow globe, we will start back from that reference point elevator. This will be tricky to get to because we have to parkour our way all the way up to the top of the tower to find our next unmarked snow globe. You can follow the path shown on the screen or can also carve your own path as there are many paths you can take with your jetpack as long as you go up and don't fall off the steep edges. I recommend using a balanced jetpack as I have as you will be skipping across very narrow metal beams. I won't be collecting any loot boxes on my way up, as this isn't my main save, but I do recommend collecting all the loot you can find on your way up, as I did notice quite a lot of valuables that Bethesda placed to encourage you to not give up midway. Once you reach the top, you will find your unmarked 14th snow globe next to some sweet rolls. Our 15th snow globe will take us back down and inside that elevator that we used as a marker previously. 
We will enter it to go inside the NASA launch facility to find three other snow globes, one of which is hidden quite well. Once inside, we will first activate the quest for the snow globe on Mars, which we will get to after we collect the three snow globes in this facility. Follow the path on the screen to reach the museum to find the mission trigger board for the Opportunity Snow Globe by interacting with the Mars Exploration Program touch panel. Our 15th snow globe will be located further in. Go up the stairs and on your left, find your next unmarked NASA snow globe on the bench. Our 16th snow globe will be located nearby. Turn around and climb up the miniature International Space Station to find the hidden ISS NASA snow globe. Our 17th snow globe is located even further in within this launch facility. Follow the path shown on the screen to go deeper into this area and you will reach a room with the final duplicate of the NASA logo snow globe, the same as the 12th and the 13th snow globes. Our final snow globe is the Opportunity Snow Globe on Mars which we had triggered the mission for earlier at the museum within the NASA launch facility. Exit the facility to fast travel to Mars and land next to the Opportunity rover. You will find the final snow globe on top of the rover. Upon collection of all the snow globes that had quests, you will be rewarded with the old Earth armor set. video. Did you know that there is a cut content unmarked snow globe collectible in Italy? It is found at the ruins of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. As there is no quest marker for this globe or the location, you have to land where you would expect to find the real Leaning Tower of Pisa on Earth. This is the location of where I found mine. This can take you many tries as the game expects you to be very precise. Furthermore, once you have landed, you may miss the tower as you may land quite far away. So analyze very carefully upon landing. Now head on over to the tower to find your glorious Tower of Pisa snow globe. This also concludes our video. I hope it was to your liking. Join me for more gaming content.